was pretty tough at the time um, and I can't pretend that it wasn't because um, uh, to find that you are predicted to be back in and, uh, and mm. you know, a, a, a really active member, to find you, that you are um, rejected at the polls and uh, there are different reasons for that. Um, we're extremely disappointed that he's chosen to take strike action without coming back to the business um, with a response to that letter that we've sent him earlier this week. And everybody in their right mind thought they were going to go block by block. And uh, so they would do one block, they would finish, they'd move on. And what they've done is just extended way down now to the palace and nothing was being done for weeks and weeks. We're now in almost the end of February mm -hmm. and uh, they're just starting to pour the concrete. It started in America and it's been a craze, it's just swept across America. I didn't believe it at first until I started looking into it and then I saw the response that we got. Uh, yeah, it's a real craze at the moment. It's been on the Kardashians, <laughs> Country File, the Real Housewives of New Jersey, everybody's doing it. It's even on the Arches apparently. I think the way I, I can help them people is um, relating my story to them. I, I know. I know I felt a lot of um, pains with with anxiety and pains in random places, your stomach, your heart, you know, your arms. And I always thought straight away, you know, this is a heart disease, this is cancer. I don't know if you recall, Paul, but there were no leading edges, there weren't flaps, there wasn't a rudder on board. So all the flying surfaces have been um, repositioned, put back on. Um, all the leading edges, which is the um, bit of the de-icing boots and so forth, and the whole um, fuselage has been rubbed down. You know, it really takes a <laughs> lot of work, time. because the aircraft's been sitting outside for the best part of two years. Well, t obviously today is not as... Uh, the volume of, of mail and, the, and what comes through the business today is not as high as it was at Christmas. Um, it's, it's significantly less. Um, obviously, we will guarantee delivery of um, the priority mail. We have a lot of flowers to deliver today. We will guarantee delivery of that. And we, we will ensure that we can operate as a business as much as possible to ensure that our valued customers are not in, uh, impacted um, by, by today. I was shaking like mad. Um, Mum called an ambulance, obviously, because I thought it was a heart attack. Uh, I got to hospital and, and they stated that I'd had a, um, had a, a panic attack. Which the first one you ever had? Yeah, completely new to me. I've had some of those. They just, when you have the first one, you never you just don't know what's yeah, going to be. Yeah, really scares you as yeah. well. Really shocks you. It's a shock to your whole system. It takes a lot of time to get over as well. They took the lot. I think the biggest blow was uh, in that whole case was the fact that the, the crook, the actual crook, came to the Isle of Man and, um, uh, and gave evidence of, didn't say anything really, and they, he collected 41 million dollars and went back to the United States and that was that. Yes, yeah, so we've got our own um, charcuterie range and our own bacon, sausage, um, honey, but we decided to um, bring together Manx farm foods and, and uh, quality Manx craft in one place so people have one place to go to pick up their, their Manx goods. <laughs> <laughs>